Hey, this is Mr. Barr, and this is Proving Congruence Through Transformations. Let's get going here. My learning goal is this. I can manipulate shapes using transformations. Why? Because computer graphics are just transformations, and I want to understand how life works in software. Are all of these triangles the same, yes or no? Why do you say yes, or why do you say no? Today, we're going to learn a mathematical way to prove that the triangles are or are not the same. So let's start with the notes. We'll get our title in here. Right, those are left over from yesterday. So start with your name. And our title, Proving Congruence Through Transformations. And we'll start with the definition of congruence. Congruent, identical in form, exact same shape. Congruent, identical in form, exact same shape. All right, so I have two triangles here. I'm gonna show you right now. Triangle. Triangle. And my question is this, are those two triangles congruent? Meaning are they identical in form, the exact same shape? And the way I can prove this is by getting one of these triangles right on top of the other triangle. And I know how to do this because I know my different transformations. So right here, if I want to prove they're congruent, I would translate this over, right? Or right here, if I wanted to prove that these two are congruent, what could I do? I could reflect it. Or if I had these two, I could rotate one of them, ah, rotate, and then translate it. So that's what we're going to be doing here, is how do I prove that two triangles are congruent using transformations? How do I get one triangle right on top of the other one? So how do I prove it? I get one shape right on top of the other. Let's get that into our notes. It's really hard to pick those things up. So we can prove congruence by putting one shape right on top of the other. What did I say in my notes? Get one shape right on top of the other. Prove congruence by getting one shape right on top of the other shape. I'm going to add one thing to this. The letters match, the letters must match up. which means if I have triangle ABC, it has to match up with the, uh, the triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. A has to match up with A prime, B with B prime, and so forth. 
Let's see. Here are the transformations we know. We know how to translate, reflect, and rotate. So those are the ones we're going to be using to prove congruence. And really, I think I'm pretty much done with my notes here. How do I get this guy, this figure A, on top of A prime? So A is the original, A prime is the new one. How do I get this on top of this guy? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it down. Ready? One, two, down, two, over one, two. Down, two, over two. Down, two, right, two. Down, two, right, two, and then they match up perfectly. How about this one? How do I turn this one? This is A, B, C, and A prime, B prime, C prime. Well, it looks like I can do a reflection to this. I'm going to reflect it across the x-axis. Here's my mirror. This is going to go down one, one to the mirror, one through the mirror. So I would reflect this across the x-axis to prove that they are the same. Hmm. How can I get this one on top of this one? It is not a rotation. I know some of you are thinking, hey, if I rotate this thing 180 degrees, if I rotate it like this, they would match up. The problem is the letters don't match up. If I did that, that C would be matching up with the B prime. Doesn't work. How about this? What if I do a reflection across this? There's my B prime. What if I reflect it? Ah, it's so squiggly. If I reflect it first and then I translate it. If I reflect it across X, and then I translate it 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 to the right. Reflect it across 8, excuse me, reflect it across X, translate it 12 to the right. That would prove congruency. Hmm. Well, what if I reflect this one across the y-axis, so there's my b-prime, there's my c-prime, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, okay, I've got to go 9 this way, so there we go, there's a reflection, Everything's matching up. I just looked at my letters. They're all matching up. But then I'd still have to move this guy over, right? I have to move him over two. So I'd have to move it over two. So here it is now. So I can reflect it across the y-axis. I can translate it le a right to, and then I still have to translate it down, don't I? I have to go down how far? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then ten down. So reflect across the x axis and then translate right to and down ten. That would prove congruency. This one does feel like it needs a rotation. And this one's a little bit weird because it got skewed when I drew it, but let's try it. So let's start by rotating it 90 degrees counterclockwise. So here is, there's A prime. So 
So there's the rotation. I just rotated it 90 counterclockwise, and I got that. And then I need to translate it down one, two, three, four. So rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise and then down four. This one, let's see how am I gonna do this guy? Oh, I do not have good way of doing this one. Is this going to be a rotation? No, I think it's going to be a reflection. Let's see. If I reflect it, here's my C prime. One, two, three. One, two, three. There's my B prime. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So there it is after reflection across the Y axis. Yes. So I just reflected it across Y. And now I have to move it down. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So a reflection across the Y axis and then a translation down six. All right. Hey, that's the video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.